Hey, what's up everybody? This is Mike. Welcome back to another video. And today's video will be just a bit different as I normally don't discuss news in my videos. But um, ever since I read this piece of information, I wanted to discuss it with you. I wanted to hear your thoughts on this matter because I believe this is going to impact us all. And it's very important in the long run um, for the future of our hobby. So uh, what I'm talking about is the new DJI drone to phone uh, remote ID system that they're planning to release next year. And it's quite controversial. If you're not aware what I'm talking about, DJI recently came up with the news that they're working on this new drone to phone remote ID um, system which is going to allow pretty much anyone with a smartphone and with an app uh, that they're actually working on to see uh, everyone who is flying a drone nearby and their remote identification number, their exact location, uh, and more information about the drone itself. So before we go any further with this video, I want to read a couple of paragraphs from their official news article on their website, which says, DJI's remote identification solution developed in collaboration with industry stakeholders and regulators broadcasts information from drones directly to off-the-shelf mobile phones using existing Wi-Fi protocols. Using a simple app, anyone within radio range of the drone can receive that signal and learn the location, altitude, speed and direction of the drone, as well as an identification number for the drone and the location of the pilot. Remote ID functions as an electronic license plate for drones, allowing anyone who is curious about a drone in the sky to learn more about what it's doing. Around the world, aviation authorities have said remote ID is the key to allowing more complex drone use and to solving concerns about safety and security. As more drones take to the skies every day, Remote ID addresses the public's interest in understanding what's happening in the airspace. DJI's drone to phone implementation helps accomplish that by allowing drone pilots to broadcast a simple description of their flights so anyone viewing the smartphone app can understand that they are inspecting a roof, surveying a construction site or performing another beneficial task with a drone. So that's pretty much a simple description of the new service which they're working on and I'll link the full article in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. Uh, but I believe this is quite controversial. I do believe DJI is trying hard to build this new service as a way to respond to security concerns and as a way to, to allow people who are not flying to, to be more at ease when there are drones around them. But for us as drone pilots, I think this is quite controversial once again. For starters, the simple fact that anyone who has this app will be able to know your exact location as well as the drone's exact location and the speed, the direction, everything about the drone as well. Uh, it's, it's quite scary to, to think about it. Uh, I know if you're not doing anything illegal, you shouldn't worry about that, but think about uh, how easier would it be to, to get your drone stolen because anyone who has this app will just download it and go scan in the parks and see um, where the drone pilot is, which drone he's flying. So pretty much anyone who is flying an expensive aircraft from now on would be a big target of people who are trying to rob them. And I think that's a big deal. I think this is a big concern that many of us have already. Think about all of your neighbors or just the people around you who are against flying a drone and who are always complaining about the noise that you're making, uh, the fact that you might be filming them, that you're flying over their, uh, their houses. Think about that for a second and the amount of information that they will be able to get about you and your aircraft without you even realizing that fact and think about how much problems there will be in neighborhoods from now on uh, from people who uh, are going to download this app simply because they want to complain to authorities about illegal drone flying. I think these are all valid points and are going to be uh, happening all the time from now on as soon as this app launches. So I'm a bit skeptical about this whole new um, phone remote to phone ID feature. As a matter of fact, I asked you guys yesterday, what do you think about this uh, remote ID uh, feature? And there was one comment which was exactly my thoughts. So I want to read that very quickly. It's from Chris Beige. 
and it says, I would have no problem with law enforcement having access to this. The big issue would be members of the public and their ability to get key details about what I'm doing without my knowledge or permission. That is a massive step too far, would put me off the hobby entirely. A comparison, I'm not a dog person. Other people's dogs often bark constantly when I go to the beach. Sometimes they jump up on me and I find them far more intrusive than drones. However, should I have the automatic right to get the dog owner's details and intentions without asking them so that I can report them to the authorities for being a nuisance? Most people would say no. And don't even get me started about how mobile phones cameras have the potential to invade privacy far more than drones. Perhaps when anyone turns their camera on, everyone nearby should get a notification telling them who it is and where they are. The drone witch hunt continues. I believe Chris is very right uh, with his opinion on this matter, as I think this might be a step too far, invading a little bit of our privacy and raising a lot of concerns about the future of our hobby. I think this is going to put a lot of people off uh, in regards to flying their drones. And if you know that pretty much anyone who has this app can monitor you and the drone, then uh, it just changes things in my opinion. And I really want to hear what do you guys think about this system? Maybe you have a more positive look on this whole situation. Maybe it's even more negative. I just want to hear your opinion. So please do me a favor and drop your opinion in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it for today's video. I really think it's it's something big that is going to happen. Some, some people say it's the beginning of the end for DJI and for drone flying in general. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, this is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.